Now for the details, and the commander of the National Guard, General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, met with the chief of the Pakistani Naval Forces, Admiral Navid Ashraf, in Islamabad on the sidelines of his official visit to Pakistan to participate in the celebrations of Pakistan Day. Admiral Ashraf warmly welcomed the visit of His Highness to Pakistan, which comes within the framework of enhancing military relations between both countries. General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa praised the advanced levels of military cooperation between the two sides, highlighting the role played by Pakistan, represented by the Pakistani army, in maintaining regional and global security and stability. The two sides discussed enhancing cooperation and friendship between both countries, especially in the military aspect. The National Guard Commander General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa met with the Chief of Air Staff of Pakistan Air Force, Air Marshal Zair Ahmed Baba Sidu, at the command headquarters in the capital Islamabad. The Pakistani Air Force Chief welcomed the visit of His Highness the Commander of the National Guard to Pakistan as part of efforts to strengthen military relations between both countries. His Highness praised the advanced levels of military cooperation and exchange between the two countries, highlighting the role played by Pakistan, represented by the Pakistani army, in maintaining regional and global security and stability. The meeting discussed cooperation, especially in the military field. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowment Chairman of the Council Guardianship of the Money of the Miners and their Equivalents, Nawaf bin Mohammed Al Mauda, alongside members of the Council and several Justice Ministries officials, visited the recently inaugurated Customer Service Center of the Affairs and Funds of Miners. The Minister affirmed the Ministry's keenness to develop the performance of its service centers to enhance their efficiency and quality. He commended the efforts of the center's employees to deliver the best services and support the beneficiaries contributing to enhancing the level of customer satisfaction. In implementation of the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister to open, restore and develop 32 mosques under the Sunni and Jafari Waqaf in all governorates and as part of the mosque development plan, the chairman of the Sunni Waqaf Council, Sheikh Rashid, Dr. Rashid al Hajri, opened al Namliti Mosque in Rifa' al Shemali. The opening ceremony commenced with the recitation from the Holy Quran, followed by a speech delivered by al Hajri, who emphasized that the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa witnessed a significant journey of constructing mosques and prayer halls. He expressed gratitude for the continuous support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister in the construction and development of places of worship, as well as the diligent monitoring of their progress, ensuring their ongoing development in all governorates. He stated that this project embodies the attention and care that His Royal Highness gives to the role of mosques based on its lofty religious status and noble mission in society and the firm commitment to rebuild the houses of God and prepare them for worshippers in line with the expansion and urban development in Bahrain, alongside the emphasis on the heritage and historical aspects in mosque design. Al-Hajri thanked the al Namlati family for their contribution to the construction of the mosque congratulating the citizens of Rafa al Shamlay on this opening. The Royal Humanitarian Foundation RHF and City Centre Bahrain launched the second edition of the Be a Light campaign dedicated to visually impaired cases, which will continue throughout the holy month of Ramadan. The campaign comes as a new cooperation between the RHF and City Centre Bahrain and aims to encourage the local community to support humanitarian and social issues and experience and understand the daily challenges people with visual impairment face. City Centre Bahrain will donate to the RHF for every person who completes the interactive experience on the platform as the foundation will provide medical care for visually impaired cases. Bahrain has achieved advanced positions in several indices and international reports that monitor statistics on foreign direct investment flows
analyze their data and assess the quality of the business supporting environment which has contributed to enhancing its status as a trusted global investment hub. Bahrain continues to attract leading investment projects in various sectors in the region thanks to its open economic policies. The business supporting environment in Bahrain has encouraged businesses to thrive, positioning Manama as a world leader in the financial attractiveness in this for 2023. That year proved to be an exceptional one for the Economic Development Board, supported by Bahrain team, who successfully attracted or attracted expected investments exceeding 1.7 billion US dollars and managed to attract local and international campaigns to establish and expand their operations in the kingdom. The financial services sector played a significant role in Bahrain's economic growth, surpassing the oil and gas sector as the largest contributor to the real gross domestic product, accounting for 18.1% in the third quarter of the previous year.